today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll to the bell tower. Early Middle Ages. If you fail history of magic, all in the bell tower and the room above it contain the myriad of interesting artifacts. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, then, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellion. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Did you say Bragbor? I... I think I know that name. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Oh, of course. Odgok said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Oh, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Curious students can find him on display here in the bell tower entrance. Revelio. Leave it to Bins to make the most interesting school in the world seem dull. Can you tell me where I might find Grimbald Weft? Oh yes, Grimbald Weft. Quick with a needle and thread, that one. He's a fascinating artifact of the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. At any rate, he can be found nearby, perched in his case. This is a centuries-old likeness of Pangadon. Fearless mouse hunter and devoted companion. People have always loved their pets. I find that comforting. Revelio. Oh, yes. I see you found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. 
The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Ash Buttle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal Rebellion. knights. Or rather, statues of knights, I should clarify. Keen-eyed students will spot the statue of Sir Athpart. This unassuming smudge is rumored to be above. the location of the very first successful use of Bombarda. I suppose... His fame was not won by vanquishing foes in single combat, nor by slaying bloodthirsty dragons, rather in training guards and scullers. Where his warm and approachable demeanor... Revelio. Like, I encourage everyone. There's nothing quite so magical. Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Athpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Athpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. Mm, history does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, they say. Revelio. At least, I like to say that. How can we do so much and accomplish so little? Being burgled. I shall pretend I never heard the room. Oh, I do hope Mary and her neighbours aren't home. Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should ask, are you afraid of spiders? Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. Lucky you. The hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her, and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable, but why don't you check on her yourself? I would, but I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? 
I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aaron just southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. This must be Aronshire. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. Rebellion! Bombarda! to enter. Revelio. Bombarda. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Oh no, this must be Mary. Poor woman. If Mary was breeding these things in her cellar, that means there are more underground. I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. This is where Mary bred the spiders, they're not here now. Well, this isn't a good sign. These spiders have gone somewhere. A ladder. Not sure I want to know where this leads. I'd best be ready for whatever I may find down there. Revelio. Exax. I need to find and destroy all of these before the situation gets even worse. Confringo! That's one Exax destroyed. Statue's going to anger your parents. Imperial. Bombarda! Ugh. Shame you're so foul.
Bombarda. Rebellion. I suppose I know what happened to Mary Portman now. She was breeding the spiders. Rebellion. He's angry.
Don't talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin. About my sweet friend Mary. I'm so sorry, Mr. Dunn. She was an innocent victim. Poor Mary. Fighting for the Hamlet to the bitter end, no doubt. A noble sacrifice. She truly was a remarkable woman. Remarkable. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend. But you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the Amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly departed Mary. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Don't 
time to get my claws out. Bombarda. Rebellion. Petrificus Totalis. Rebellion. Potato! Bombard! Ah! Let me open up! Ah! Don't try that expelling oh. before I find you. Let me out so. Bombarder. I've taken your life before you even Bombarder. Let me out so. Liberator of Horntail Hall. No. Rebellion. This looks like trouble. Location marked on the map isn't far from here. Rebellion. Lumos.
Rebellion. Lumos. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Bombarda! Revelio! Bombarda! Rebellion. Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion. Abandoned long ago. Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion. We got in Leviosa. Rebellion. Lumos. Crimson, stand up! 
can feed you, if you get my meaning.
wall. Revelio. Thank you. 